Trevor 3 and 0 his last five starts 5 and 4 on the season with a 4.34 ERA first inning was the issue for Trevor Williams his last start allowed three runs in Philadelphia in that first inning then put up four zeros after that gets a check swing and he went too far a little bit of a delayed call there by Tom Hanahan but strike three and a big one elevated off the plate gets around just enough did he oh yeah and foul a foul tip, tip. yeah. So with one out Adolis Garcia we found out today that Adolis Garcia will be another Ranger starter in the All Star game who will be in right field and this one is fisted up the middle Simeon will score a throw over to first Garcia is retired so not a hit with a runner in scoring position but an RBI and the Rangers take an early lead here one nothing. Yeah good pitch by Williams to get in uh, Adolis's kitchen there but also a really good job of hitting as he throws that four seam fastball in on the hands right here. You can see Adolis get jammed, but he fights it off enough to get the ball up the middle. So with first and third and two outs, that'll bring up the Ranger catcher Jonah Heim against Williams. Good season for him and another Ranger All-Star. He offers at the first pitch and lines it into right field. Seeger will score easily. Josh Young will hold up at second, and it'll be a two-out RBI single for Jonah Heim. The Rangers now lead it two to nothing. Gets here. It looks like a four-seam fastball, maybe cuts a hair, and Jonah Heim rips it into right field. Gets the second run on the board, and Josh Young to second base. Lifted to left off the bat of Jankowski. Garrett goes back, then comes in, and that's out number three. Rangers have been scuffling a little bit of late. They get two in the first here tonight. We go to the mound, and Cody Bradford making his sixth appearance here. So Joey Manessis the batter now. Manessis hitting 279 comes in just eight for his last 50 over his last 13 games. 19 doubles a triple, two homers and 41 runs batted in. Did he? Reeled out to left. Joey Manessis. There he is. He's been waiting for that one for a little while. His third home run of the season. That had to feel good after a rough last couple weeks. He gets the net on, nets on the board here in the first. Well, the best part about it, too, it's a heater. First homer against the lefty this year for Joey Manessis. Second inning, each team scoring in the first. Swings through a slider from the right-hander Williams, and he's the first out, top two. A little sweeper action. Look at him getting on the side of that right there. The downer. Nice job by Trevor. 3-2 pitch from Williams. Swinging a ground ball third base side. It's fair along the line deep at third. The plan in the throw shifting into foul ground Smith and he holds the bag for the out. What a play. Vargas planted and threw right along the line swept the throw across. Smith seeing the tailing throw shifted his body into foul ground to make the catch held his foot on the bag and the Nationals get a nifty out number two here in the top of the third. Swing and a miss struck him out fastball at 90 blew it by him. And Williams has his first one two three inning with a little help from Vargas over at third brings up Tavares with a man at second and two out ground ball over to the right side Dom Smith a dive a throw, and Trevor Williams covering the bag Dominic Smith playing some fantastic defense over there at first base for the Nationals this season that might have just saved a run 47 pitches so far for Bradford he allowed the one run in the first inning. 1 2 and there's a changeup swung on and missed and Garrett is down on strikes. That is the first strikeout of the night for Cody Bradford. It's a great job by throwing the fastball and getting it enough in to make him think I might go back in and then going right back to the changeup. The, the swing with one strike from Garrett showed that he was not going to be comfortable with another changeup off the plate. As Adams sends one down the left field line, hooking foul. Nice play down there. Oh, yeah. Didn't spill a drop. No. Kept be. chewing the gum. Two to one Texas fifth inning. Top of the order for the Rangers and Marcus Simeon. Oh, CJ Abrams. It skips off his glove right to his bare hands. He wasn't trying to do it, but it looked pretty good. Just off the heel. Nice job to identify it up in the air. Look at that. Full on palm. That is athleticism right there. 2 2, a nice changeup. Gets Seeger chasing off the plate away. Yet again, Trevor Williams gets the first two batters. The Rangers now have runners at second and third, and Josh Young coming up. He's 0 for 1 so far tonight. He struck out in his last at bat, walked in his first, came into tonight hitting 265 with runners in scoring position. Josh Young lifts one into center field, and that one is going to get down for a base hit. Two will score here, and Josh Young now take a big takes a big turn over at first, and it is a two strike, two out, two RBI single for Josh Young. Great job by the starting all-star at third base. Josh Young gets a fastball, pulls his hands in just enough 
to get this ball out to center field and with two outs Adolis running with it and scores really easily. Trevor Williams allowing two runs in the first two runs in the fifth and he's back out there at 94 pitches. That one's in there. Fastball to the inner edge and Trevor Williams finishes his longest outing of the season with a one two three six. Otto the 27 year old righty who spent the first three months of the season on the aisle with a right shoulder strain makes appearance number three. Otto's given up four runs in four and a third innings of work. He'll face Joey Manessis. Manessis sends one out to left yet again. Two homers coming into the game. How about two home runs tonight over the visiting bullpen in left. And the Nats are back within two. Well, they tried up and away with the heater. He beat him. They tried to go up and in with the heater. And he shoots him even further. I mean, full side on an inside fastball, 104. That would be his first on an inside heater this year. Here's Joanna Doan returning to the major leagues. Corey, a double and a run in the first. He's one for three. Well, this one is swung on and belted into right field, and that one is long gone for Corey Seeger. Solo shot to kick things off here in the seventh inning. Corey Seeger remains red hot. That is home run number 12 on the season for the Rangers shortstop. Corey Seeger with a blast. Adolis Garcia comes in with. The RBI and the double today. This one is hammered to left field, and that one is gone. A no doubter from Adolis Garcia, his 23rd home run of the season. He now has 73 RBIs, and the Rangers lead it six to two. Grounder up the middle, C.J. Abrams to the ground. The throw on a couple of hops over there to Dom Smith for out number two. What a play by C.J. Abrams, who's had a ball skip off his glove right into his bare hands, and here he ends up on the seat of his pants. Ranging far to his left, off balance, sliding, doesn't even have a grip on it, rolls his ankle. What a play. Now this one lifted in the air deep. Adolis Garcia is back at the track, leaps, and he makes the catch. Adolis Garcia up against the wall in front of the Nationals bullpen. Does it again. He made a couple of great plays on the homestand, and he comes up big here on a really tough play over his head right there at the wall. So, with one on and nobody out, Ezekiel Duran now will step in against Adon. And this probably will do the trick, no doubt. Lined into right field, catch is made. Jankowski will tag. He is going to score easily, and so it'll be a sacrifice fly. For Ezekiel Duran, the Rangers now lead it by five. Will Smith comes out of the Ranger bullpen and he will be in charge with closing things out. Not a safe situation, right. but certainly a win that the Rangers very much need. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Got him with a slider and that'll do it. The Rangers come in here to the nation's capital and defeat Washington handily tonight by the final score of seven to two.